Good morning, Berry Can Bloom. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye!
try the waiters on. Ta-da! Wanna uh, try some of that? Why? <laughs> well, sure. Here you go. must have caused the change when it was mixed with Berry Can Bloom spray. Then it's up to you two. We need you to mix some special perfume. I'm just about done here, Berry Can Bloom. Let's go! Oh, let's hope this works. 
smells better. Is that the sprayer you used this morning? No, that one is over here. American sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. on a hat, but it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bacon Bloom and I found a way to shrink the bearkins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's going to run our shops? Fruit salad coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. 
another batch to change you and your friends back to normal.
into the garden. Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. The Flower Festival. The event of the year. Oh, hi, hi Sarah. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi, everyone. Hi, Barry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> As usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, wow! It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. Good night. See you in the morning. <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor Violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your Violets? A flower thief. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good Hi, morning, Mr. Blue. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh, oh. Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well... Didn't you see? See what? His guardian is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Meringue? More of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all 
all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> 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 oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe... He's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much. Just like you care about your violets. Huh, <sighs> that's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. <laughs> Mine are gone! Mine are gone, too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone. Barricade Bloom, did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, <gasps> It's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> my garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses. They... <laughs> they disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barrack and Bloom. I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls. What did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay. If someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah. No tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? <laughs> asleep? Mm, me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh ha! -huh. Yeah. Violet Petal Salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. 
And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Campout. This is gonna be so scary. I can't wait. <laughs> to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this. What? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over... there! Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. another flower heist. Next year, let's have a ceramics festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to lum. Huh? Everyone, please! It is something <gasps> under the ground. <gasps> it's over there! That's where the garden is! Come on! Look! More Bear Can Bloom's roses are missing! Oh, he'll be so upset! I've calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How, how did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not 
are being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down. <gasps> Grab it! Look! Wow. Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about... a lot? <laughs> Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. our sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. <laughs> Lemon, you're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Blue? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Blue, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see... I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart? Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barrican Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first 
prize goes to... Lemon Meringue! <laughs> Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry! You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Barry Can Bloom's idea. But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Don't forget the honey day. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. Right the girls. 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 Oh, and twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the black... Oh. Blurkles! Get all the wings! The gators! Oh, the oh, the Before, oh, after... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berrykin's mini book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the Berry Can Dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the Berry Bitty Bunny Hop during the parade. But the Berrykins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. 
<laughs> I'd love to help, Club, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what'll really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Barkley is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go. Bye. Oh, I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. 
I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last, but it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun, wait till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh and sing. There's magic in the air. We are the very kids. Decorate carriage. Check. Plan menu. Hmm, check. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <gasps> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh, <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So, yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries!
no princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. Uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why don't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! Whoa! Hey! Over here! Whoa! Well, we've just got to save her. Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. <laughs> 